Okay, what's going on guys? This is Liam and welcome to yet a, another video. I'm just getting ready to head out to some meetings um, and then I'm uh, preparing to fly off tomorrow for a couple of days interstate in Thailand to a film studio to film some more videos uh, professionally done for the new course and so on. So very, very excited about that. If you guys have uh, Triumph over tonight is three, you're going to get it 100% uh, for free. So I've always been giving free upgrades if you have any of the courses. Uh, but it's only for Triumph over to three this time, so you're welcome. So, I wanted to make a video now, which is something that I find very, I find it very, very interesting, and uh, it's unfortunate, and it's really about wasting your life. Uh, and it has a lot to do about tinnitus, because, uh, let me tell you a story. So I had someone contact me today, excuse me, and basically write a big apology. And they said, Liam, you don't know who I am, I won't say their name. Uh, it was a male about uh, 35 years old, it seemed. Uh, I just followed him, so I'm waiting to see his pictures and everything on Instagram. And he said, Liam, I have to apologize. He said, I've been following you for about uh, three years, and I fucking hated your guts. And he said, you know, I in instantly saw you, and I, you know, thought you were a scammer, and I, I listened to my ENT, and I listened to all the scientists, and all, all he would do is look up research and go, you know what? When this research is good to go, that's going to silence, silence my tinnitus and Liam is, is so full of shit and blah, blah, blah. And he, you know, kind of joined this hate mob sort of thing. And that's okay. There, there's people who, you know, don't like me and that's that's totally fine. Everyone can, you know, you don't have to like everybody. It's totally fine. Free speech, all that. Go, go and do your own thing. I'll do my thing. And uh, he said that about six months ago, he couldn't take it anymore. And he thought, you know what, I'm just going to give this guy a go. Because he said he was losing his job, he was losing his family. And it looked like all of this scientific research stuff that I've spoken about at length in my videos, which is there's nothing compelling about it. It's really never going to work out because there's so many causes of tinnitus. As I said before, how is a medication or a drug or something you strap to your head going to fix toxic family members, a parasitic infection, a residual viral infection, a posture problem, uh, artificial light, uh, n not eating the right foods, like all these different things. Like it's just, it's like anything. It's like anything. It's like if, if you have a, a dermatological problem on your skin, you can take all the Accutane and all the antibiotics you want. But you're really not going to get rid of that problem. It's like if you have anxiety and depression, and don't get angry at me for saying this one, but if you have anxiety and depression, sure, a drug might help. And I've had people who it does help. But unless you, you know, you're depressed and anxious because usually because your life is shit. You're putting the wrong things in your body. You're doing the wrong thing. You're spending time with the wrong people. You hate your job. You hate your husband or wife, or whatever. That's why you're depressed. You've got to change things. So we've kind of been conditioned to look for the look look to the experts and look for the professionals and not just see what's right in front of us. And that's what this guy realized. And he now has silence. And he said he's had it for about uh, two weeks. And he wanted to wait to see to make sure it was completely silent. He got it from noise trauma, apparently. That's what he says. Uh, you know, a very common cause. I believe him. And he basically said, you know, he, he bought into the whole, like, uh, you know, there's, there's nothing you can do about tinnitus. It's a hair cell problem, all this bullshit. There's nothing you can do about it. As I said, you just have to wait and see. You have to learn to live with it. You have to learn how to habituate. And he spent, he said, like $5,000 on all these different treatments, all these different things, none of which, of course, worked. And then within a short period of time, applying my advice, I think he said about five months or so in total, uh, he got rid of it completely and his life is fixed and he said he regrets for so many years just getting sucked into this this world of just like there's nothing you can do and you know people who are in a cult they usually want someone to hate which is me and that's totally fine there's no problem with that you can you can hate whoever you want it's a free world but it's really disappointing to see that you know when someone gets into the world of tinnitus they, they take one of two roads the first road is I'm going to use you know, people are scared, right? And they use that fear in one of two ways. They go, I'm going to use my eyes and my ears, okay? And I'm going to look and I'm going to see what works and I'm going to use common sense. And as long as it makes sense and as long as it's safe and as long as it's proven to work, I'll give that a go. Whether it's an earpiece or whether it's my advice, they'll just use common sense. It's up to them. Unfortunately, this gentleman fell into the second category, which is to go, you know what? I'm not going to use my eyes and my ears. I'm just going to listen to what the experts say. And whatever the experts say, I'm going to listen to that. And I'm not going to believe my eyes or my ears. I'm not going to listen to common sense. 
I'm just going to go, as I said, with what the experts say, and that's that, and everyone else is lying, and that's the end of it. So I want to show you a short video clip here, which is absolutely phenomenal. And it's, it's Bart K, who's a very, very seasoned academic researcher. He's a peer reviewer on scientific literature. He's got many, many qualifications. He's worked for the New Zealand government. He's worked for um, different journals. He's very, very academic. Uh, and what he does on his YouTube channels is basically go through and point out all the different things that people have made wrong. Because, you know, and I've seen it too. There's all these different people, whether it's in the world of tinnitus or nutrition or, or fitness science or whatever, um, who go through and they just, they put themselves forward as this scientific expert and go, you know what, this is the literature. And they, you can always tell when someone really doesn't know what they're talking about because they throw out these big words because they can't simplify it. Because if you simplify it down to its simplest form, it's like, what can I see and what can I hear? And when you look at the world of tinnitus, it really is just, there's this guy called Liam and he's silencing people's ears and he has the cheapest, safest, most effective course, or just use his free advice. I've got plenty of free advice that silence many people's ears, or you've got the scientific literature, which is pretty much nonsense and most of it's, a lot of it's bullshit. And that, you know, with scientific literature, it gets funded to make money. That's the reason it gets funded to make money. You don't just get a $2 million grant, okay, because someone's fucking curious. And it's like when people say to me, oh, Liam, you know, if you really knew what you were doing, you would, you would, you would make a study and you would put your science, you put your work up against science. It's like, bro, I don't have $2 million. I just don't, or $4 million, but it's probably going to take a long time. Got to pay the scientists, got to pay for their own materials, got to pay for the researchers, got to pay to get it peer reviewed. It's just nonsense. And no one is going to give me that money because at the end of the day, there's nothing that can be patented. You can't patent what I teach because it's just lifestyle changes. It would have to be a medication. You get you, you guys seeing the picture now. It would have to be a medication or an earpiece or something unique, some sort of physical product, right? Because then you can make money off of it. So you guys seeing what's happening in the world of tinnitus here? You're getting the picture now. So I want to show you a video here, and it's Bart K, who is a very seasoned scientist and researcher um, and statistician, and he's talking about how stupid people just follow the science. And they don't understand the science and they get swept away and just like this gentleman they can waste years of their life and maybe stupid isn't the right way to say it. that's a bit rude but they're scared i get that but you know it comes a time when you've got to use common sense so i'm going to show you this video and uh, i think it'll really help you guys understand why you shouldn't waste time and why you should start today so i just like to point out before this video starts that obviously this is about me that's what uh this video uh, pertains to however the underlying lesson remains the same whether you're talking about growing muscle whether you're talking about uh, making money whether you're talking about um, getting healthy beating tinnitus or perhaps reversing another chronic disease you can go on the internet and look at all these different websites with all these different peer-reviewed and for some reason people think that when something is peer-reviewed it means oh it must be right which is actually as Bart K talks about total garbage because you know well you can watch his videos and see why that is being a peer reviewer himself but the, the underlying lesson remains the same which is that the science isn't always right and especially when it comes to tinnitus the science isn't always right so check out this video of course it's about meat but again the lesson remains the same okay enjoy well and then again you know what happens when the the so-called research begins to actually contradict the human experience you know what would somebody where would you go then what it's a sad world when people would rather trust a piece of paper than what their own bodies are telling them and what they're feeling yeah i i think that um this is an example of darwin in action frankly I, and I, there are some people who despite every opportunity to do well in life, will go out of their way to cut their quality of life down, cut their lifespan short um, because they lack the intelligence or the foresight or the wisdom or the guidance of someone that has any of those things that they're prepared to listen to to guide them in the right direction and to suggest to them exactly the sort of thing that you, you're suggesting to me now, which is, well, hang on a minute. 
We've got people running around telling us to avoid eating meat because meat will kill you. Well, hang on a minute. We've been doing that for four and a half million years. It's the very thing that's informed the way we've evolved and our body plans and our organ systems. And anecdotally, it's the very thing that's absolutely associated with phenomenal and life-changing improvements in people's health status. People who are taking this on board and going, yeah, I'm going to give that a go just to see whether or not it's right, even. No, no, trust the science. Trust the science is what we're told. Don't argue with the science is what we're told. Don't question the science. Except that's exactly how you do science, by questioning the science. That's what doing science is. So trust the science is the most anti-science thing I have ever heard. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you enjoyed uh, Bart talking, and I hope you enjoyed me talking. Uh, the girl who was interviewing, by the way, was on his channel. Uh, you can just search Bart K and find his channel. I recommend you subscribe. It's fantastic. Um, and a girl who was talking to was a girl who was basically, you know, fed all of this sludge, like uh, carbohydrates and oatmeal and uh, pasteurized dairy and, uh, you know, a whole bunch of vegetables and a little bit of meat. And if you look at the scientific literature, you know, really, you'll see that that stuff's healthy, but it's not healthy. It's just not. And it's so watch the whole video, put the whole video below. And this is how people get stuck where it's like, you know, there's so many, unfortunately, vegans and people who go, oh, well, you should have a big bowl of salad every day and you should have a, a colorful plate, it's a big one. And they go, but I'm doing all the right things. Why am I not getting better? I'm doing what the science says. I'm doing what the doctors say. 99% of scientists agree. And they don't see the funding, they don't see the conflict of interest, they don't see the corruption, and they don't see how people are just people, and, and when they need money, they'll take the money. That's how these things work. So, hope you enjoyed this video. I don't want you to get confused, because people say, there's so many things out here, and there's, I don't know what to do, it's so confusing, and I totally get it. But you have to look at where the conflicts of interest is coming from, okay? And you have to look, you have to look, what's the easiest barrier to, barrier to entry? Is the easiest thing to do to put yourself on a waiting list and wait for three years for some experimental tinnitus drug to come out where you could make yourself worse or it could do nothing? Or is the easiest thing to do to follow my free advice, just get started and make some simple, simple changes and just use common sense, use your eyes and look at all the people that I've helped from all over the world, all, all ages and all genders. So I hope it helps. Have a great day.